welcome to the Milky Way 500, the fastest race in the galaxy. We're coming into the home stretch and it is really heating up. The Starship Ronnie had a slow start when cameraman Dave forgot to bring his keys, but since they took off, they have been passing the competition and look like they could get first place. Whoa, cameraman Dave, watch out. We can't win if we crash. Hey, don't worry, I have this under. Control. It doesn't help that our navigation officer is taking a nap. Okay, well, just be careful. I have to film the episode. It's due at the end of the race. Hi, I'm Miss Shelley, and welcome to my science show. The starship Ronnie is currently deep in a race around the sun, but I promised the Intergalactic Space Race Association that I would film an episode and that they could be my sponsor. So here we go. Right now, it looks like we might finish our race in just under a day, but it takes the Earth a full 365.25 days to make one full revolution around the sun. That's also called a year. Right now, we're about to do a quick lap around the Earth. And as we do, you're going to see all of the four seasons. The four seasons repeat in a pattern every year. Winter, spring, summer, fall. Winter, spring, summer, fall. The Earth is tilted on an axis, so different parts of the world experience different seasons at the exact same time. Areas that are experiencing winter are tilted away from the sun. This means they're experiencing less direct sunlight. The sun isn't shining right on them. Also, the sun tends to rise later in the morning and set earlier in the evening, so areas experiencing winter get less sunlight overall, making it colder. Areas of the Earth that are tilted towards the sun are experiencing summer because they have more direct sunlight. The sun is shining right on them. Also, the sun rises early in the morning and sets late at night, so there's a lot of sunlight hours during the day making it warmer. Now, spring and fall we call the transition seasons. Fall happens when we're transitioning from summer to winter, and spring happens when we're transitioning from winter to summer. Both spring and fall have similar amounts of daylight and similar temperatures because they're getting about the same amount of indirect or direct sunlight. Hold up, we're entering the Earth's atmosphere. We have two racers left, but it looks like the Starship Ronnie is pulling ahead. Why are we stopping? I think I left my sunglasses behind on the dark side of the moon. But what about the race? The sunglasses were $20. I'm not just leaving them behind. In a strange move, the Starship Ronnie is turning around, and I'm not sure how this is going to help them, but I think they are going to lose. Well, that's a bummer. But I hope you learned something about the Earth, the Sun, and seasonal patterns. I'm Miss Shelley, and I'll see you next time on another episode of Miss Shelley's Science Show. Miss Shelley.